Oh, this isn't where I thought we were going. <laughs> Hilarious. Damn, I want to move here. This place sounds awesome. Let's talk about the elephant in the room. The cost of living in San Francisco is extremely high. So why would somebody with little to no money pack their bags, move to San Francisco from the Midwest and live here for over 20 years? Spoiler alert, that person is me. And I'm gonna tell you 10 reasons why I love living in San Francisco. San Francisco is the heart of technology and innovation. So if you wanna be in the groundbreaking place for what's coming next, San Francisco may be the place for you. The opportunities for growth and expansion are endless. And there's something really contagious about being in a community where things are built from the ground up and innovation is happening all around you. So even though it's expensive here because there is so much money rolling in from tech, it really benefits industries all across the Bay Area. So if you're looking to start an architecture firm or a construction firm, or you sell high-end cars, or maybe you sell real estate, that money is also gonna benefit all of those other industries as well. I'm not sure what I would have become if I stayed back in the Midwest. When I moved out here, I was able to meet a ton of prolific architects, designers, builders, and I actually got really interested in design. So I went back to school and I founded an interior design company and later a real estate company. Had I stayed in that small town, I don't think any of these things would have been possible. Being in San Francisco has allowed me to be around other people who are entrepreneurial and I saw a certain work ethic and I realized that even a girl from a small town like me can make really big things happen with a little bit of luck and a lot of hard work. Before we move on, if you're looking for more videos about what it's like to live in San Francisco, be sure to smash that subscribe button. My name is Ruth, I'm the founder of the Krishnan team, and every day we help buyers and sellers just like you make that smooth move in or out of San Francisco. The next thing that I'm gonna to talk to you about for number two is something that I like to call the inner child. So in San Francisco, people like to work and play hard. And it's actually a city where you start to see people really embrace their inner child and be a little silly. It is a city where you will find more costume parties and more reasons to dress up than anywhere in the world. Some such examples are SantaCon, which actually just happened where thousands of people got dressed up as Santa Claus and crawled through pubs through the street. Another one that we have every year is called Beta Breakers and everyone gets dressed up in crazy costumes, runs, I think it's five miles through part of the city and Golden Gate Park. There's bands and musicians playing in the street. It's a really, really fun time. There's a sing-along at the Castro Street Theater, multiple sing-alongs actually, where you can get dressed up in character. My kids and I went and saw Frozen one time, which was really fun. There's also the Hunky Jesus contest where people get dressed up for that. There's Folsom Street Fair, there's Carnival. The ideas are endless. Additionally, you'll probably be invited to endless costume parties, which will just take place in people's homes. So the costumes never end. You definitely wanna have a friend that has a large costume closet or consider investing in some of your own pieces. There's a huge population of Bay Area residents that go to Burning Man every year. They actually, in some cases, work for a year in advance on their costumes and those art installations. Many of those art installations actually make their way back to San Francisco and kind of live on the streets of the city. So it's a place where people really get creative and really play in addition to working really hard. Let's continue on with the fun for reason number three, events, comedy, and shows. So San Francisco actually has an endless array of Broadway shows. I've seen Book of Mormon, I've seen Hamilton, I've seen The Lion King. Basically all of the shows do come here, so there's a lot of opportunity to see things on Broadway. Additionally, there's a ton of concerts. Any big musician is going to stop if not in San Francisco, somewhere right around the Bay Area. So everything from Taylor Swift to Elton John. Um, we were able to see Elton John on his last tour. I saw Madonna when she still looked like Madonna. I saw Prince when he was still alive. Pretty much everyone comes through here. 
Additionally, we actually have a large amount of cover bands, which is kind of an interesting thing about San Franciscans. They're really into cover bands. Again, they use that as an excuse to get dressed up. You know, there's one called Tainted Love where everyone dresses up in the 80s. And if you close your eyes and you have enough drinks, you actually feel like you're hearing the real band. So it's super, super fun. Also, one of my favorite things to do is check a comedy show out. And pretty much any night of the week, you can find a comedian. They may not be one that you've ever heard of, but there's tons of comedians that come through here. My husband actually saw Dave Chappelle before he was famous. And last night we were able to go and see Trevor Noah, which was amazing. Reason number four is food. And not everyone likes cooking, but if you live in San Francisco, you don't have to worry about it because the food scene here is phenomenal. And there's a good range of price options. When I moved here, I was looking for the best and cheapest taquerias that I could find, and there are many. I also was exposed to tons of ethnic food that I had never been exposed to before, and also some Michelin star restaurants that I had never been exposed to before either. You can dine at a Michelin star restaurant for a really, really high end one for around $300 to $500 a person, which is a lot of money. Most people are reserving that for really, really special occasions and it's an experience but there's also a lot of inexpensive options around San Francisco as well. We have amazing farmer's markets, and this is California, the land of fresh food. So there's an endless array of fresh vegetables to choose from. And so you really can have different cuisines all day long, which is one of the things I really miss when I'm traveling. You could get up, you could have dim sum for breakfast, you could have dosa for lunch, and you could end your day with some omakase for dinner. There's a big range of food and all phenomenal. So that's reason number four that I love living in San Francisco. Sports fans, I got you. Reason number five is sports. We have both the Golden State Warriors and we also have the San Francisco Giants, both of which have done pretty well in my time living here. The Golden State Warriors have won four championship games since I've lived here. Also, the San Francisco Giants have been in the World Series three different times. So we have Oracle Park, which is where the Giants play. And I'll be honest, I'm not a huge baseball fan, but going to Oracle Park is a very San Francisco experience. It is gorgeous. It has views that look out onto the bay. It's also a little fancy, which is very San Francisco. And so they have some pretty good food options for a sports stadium. You can get your garlic fry on, and I think they even have sushi if I remember. But a lot of people just go there to kind of hang out, watch the game, enjoy the views. We've got sailboats going by. The newly built Chase Center is actually really, really cool. I have yet to see a basketball game there, but I have been to some concerts there. And I'm really, really happy that next time I'm fortunate enough to go see the Warriors, I don't have to drive over to Oakland. So it's awesome that that's open and it's right here in the city. Moving on to number six, staycation. So when I moved here, I had actually studied abroad a bit in college and I kind of got addicted to traveling, but I put myself through college and I had been working multiple jobs and I didn't know if I was ever gonna be able to take a bunch of international vacations. And so I wanted to live in a place that really was diverse and had a lot of different cultures and a lot of different people from all around the world living here. And that's actually one of the big reasons why I chose San Francisco. It definitely has that covered. The nice thing about living here is that there is proximity to places that people literally pay thousands of dollars to fly to and get to. So some places would be Napa, you can literally jump in your car in an hour. You can be in a resort in Napa. You can stay there for like one or two nights and you don't have to pay for flights. And it really feels like you got a nice little vacation mixed in. Also, we have Big Sur, which is gorgeous. The drive to Big Sur is insane. It is so epic. I go there every year with my husband for our anniversary and we do a little hiking around and we stay in a little resort down there just for a couple of days. It's amazing. Also, we have Tahoe and there's a lot of different little snow areas that you can go to, but Tahoe is definitely a very popular one. So when it snows, you can get up and enjoy the snow. So there's just a ton of really world-class destinations 
that are really close in driving distance. Instead of taking a full week out of your vacation schedule, you can literally just take a couple of days out of your weekend and really feel like you can sprinkle in a bunch of little tiny trips throughout the year, which actually I think makes for a really high quality of life for people living in San Francisco. Another thing that I wanna sneak in here real quickly is actually airports. It might sound silly, but we have three airports here. Two are within 30 minute drive of San Francisco, and one is a little further down in San Jose, about an hour away. But actually, if you are traveling outside of the Bay Area, it makes traveling almost anywhere internationally really accessible to you. Also, if you haven't been to SFO in many years, they've done tons of renovations there, and it literally is one of the nicest airports now. They have tons of food options. Also, they have such good Wi-Fi and lots of plugs, and it's clean and nice, and if you're traveling a lot, it actually is a really, really nice place to fly in and out of. Moving on to reason number seven, we're gonna talk about museums and art. Actually, I think that San Francisco itself is an amazing piece of art. The architecture here is so beautiful and just driving around, I always feel like I'm looking at a piece of art. Additionally, there's a ton of street art all over the city, a ton of murals. We actually did a whole separate video on that if you're interested in learning more about that. Check out this street art that somebody painted on their house. I have never seen this before, but this is such an example of how you could just stumble upon art in the city and it's like so beautiful and so cool. I love that. Additionally, we do have a lot of museums. We have the SF MoMA, we have the Legion of Honor, we have the Asian Art Museum. They're constantly bringing in some really, really good exhibits. Um, a couple that I've had the pleasure of seeing in the last few years have been, I saw Van Gogh when they were here. I also saw the Andy Warhol exhibit when it was here and Monet was another one that I was fortunate enough to see. Let's talk about the weather. The weather in San Francisco, I love. It's kind of always 67 degrees. We do have a little bit of a winter, which actually it's winter right now and the temperature drops about four or five degrees in the winter time, and it actually does get rainy most winters. We want rain here because we have drought, and when it's raining, we get really excited. For those of us who love snow, we get really excited that there's snow up in Tahoe. There is a wide variety of weather patterns in San Francisco, and we actually have a microclimate on our website but it can be really foggy in one section of the city and really hot in another section of the city. So one thing that you'll learn very quickly about living in San Francisco is to always dress in layers. I think the weather also really helps people stay super active year round because they have zero excuse not to get outside and enjoy the weather. All right, let's talk about parks and outdoor. San Francisco is insanely beautiful and we have a ton of different outdoor activities and parks. In fact, 20% of our little seven by seven city is actually covered by green space. So the most popular park is obviously Golden Gate Park, which is actually 20% larger than New York City's Central Park, which is kind of amazing. There's a ton of stuff going on in there. And we actually did a separate video about that, so I'm not gonna get into crazy detail, but the park is really cool in that they shut down this road through the park on Sundays where people can ride their bikes, walk. I've spent a ton of time with my kids in there, riding bikes, catching little music shows, eating ice cream, riding boats, all kinds of stuff in the park. They also have a ton of different concerts. There's a big one called Outside Land that happens there. Additionally, we have a lot of other parks. There's Land's End, which is one of my personal favorites. It's absolutely an epic place to take a walk and probably get some of the best walking views that you can get anywhere in the world. We also have Park Presidio. We have Prissy Field, where people ride their bikes, work out, watch the kite surfers. So there's a ton of outdoor space. So what's the best thing to do with outdoor space? Obviously, we love to like move our bodies, right? So if you're really big into working out, 
this is your place and you can find a range of options. Like you don't have to be hardcore, but if you want to run a triathlon, there's going to be a ton of people to do that with. If you just want a walking buddy, there's going to be a ton of people to do that with. And with all of the access to the outdoors, it just makes working out really fun and really beautiful. All right, reason number 10, views. Check out these views. I wanted to get out and actually show you some of the views that you can get in San Francisco. San Francisco is a hilly area, and because of that, we have really, really great views all over the city. I've been fortunate enough to travel all over the world, and I have to say that other than like maybe New Zealand and Iceland, I've never seen a prettier place than San Francisco. So it really is beautiful and lots of the real estate includes views. So if views are your thing, then San Francisco might be the right place for you. So that concludes the top 10 reasons that I love San Francisco. And if you've made it this far, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you have any questions, our contact information is below. Please reach out to hello at ruthchristian.com. And if you live in San Francisco, tell me what are your favorite things about living in the city?